It is the stage after self-realization at which the devotee becomes one with Krishna in the sense that Krishna becomes everything for the devotee. And the devotee becomes full and loving Krishna. An intimate relationship between the Lord and the devotee then exists. In that stage there is no chance that the living entity will be annihilated. Nor is the personality of God ever out of sight of the devotee. How he can become out of sight? He sees everything in Krishna and Krishna in everything. Everything in Krishna and Krishna in everything. Then how can he lose sight of Krishna? Yeah. To merge in Krishna is spiritual annihilation. A devotee takes no such risk. It is stated in the Brahma Samhita, I worship the primal Lord, Govinda, who is always seen by the devotee whose eyes are anointed with the pulp of love. He is seen in his eternal form, Sham Sundar, situated within the heart of the devotee. Sham Sundar. This is Sham Sundar. The Kattamasai. Sham Sundar. Premanyana Srita Bhakti Vilochanena Santa Sadai Parida Yesu Vilokaya. Yang Shama Sundaram Machinda Gunasarupam Govindam Adipurisham Tamangaya. So one who has developed this love of Krishna, he, sa- he sees Samashunda, the Kottamasai, always within his heart. That is perfection of it. Kottamasai has given that name. Of course, he is Samashunda. Yes. Always. Right. Then, next paragraph. At this stage, Lord Krishna never disappears in the sight of the devotee, nor does the devotee ever lose sight of the Lord. In the case of a yogi who sees the Lord as Paramatma, within the heart the same applies. Such a yogi turns into a pure devotee and cannot bear to live for a moment without seeing the Lord within himself. Yes, sir. <coughs> so this is the process of seeing God. <laughs> Otherwise, God is not my order supplier. Please come and see. You have to learn. You have to qualify yourself. How to see God every every moment, everywhere. And this simple qualification is simple. That's not very difficult. The yogi who knows that I am the yogi who knows that I and the super soul within all creatures are one, worships me and remains always in me in all circumstances. Hmm. The part part is that one. A yogi who is practicing meditation on the super soul within himself sees this plenary portion of Krishna as Vishnu with four hands holding conch shell, wheel, club, and lotus flower. This, this picture, Vishnu picture, that is the objective of concentration for the yogi. That is real job. And this Vishnu manifestation is uh, Krishna's plenary portion. Uh, in the Brahma Sangita, it is said, Jak Karnanavajali Bhajitisma Yuga. Nidra Mananta Jagadanda Saroma Kupa Sa Vishnu Mahansa Yajasa Kalavisesa Govindamadi Purisam Tamahang Bhajan. I worship Govinda, the prime by Lord, Govindam Adi Purisam. Purisam means the Lord is male, enjoy. 
ఆది ది ఒరిజినల్ గోవిందం ఆది పురుషం తమహం భజామి అండ్ హూ ఈస్ దాట్ గోవింద హూస్ ఓన్లీ వన్ ప్లేనరీ పోర్షన్ ఈజ్ మహావిష్ణు అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ది ఫంక్షన్ ఆఫ్ మహావిష్ణు జస్సైక నిశ్చసిత కాలం అథావలంబ జీవంతి లోమ బిలజా జగదన్ననాథ in every universe there is a uh, chief uh, living entity who is known as brahma brahma is the original person in each universe so the life of brahma or the life of an universe <coughs> is existing only on the breathing period of mahavishnu mahavishnu is lying on the causal ocean and while he is exhaling millions of universes are coming as bubbles and they are developing again and when he is inhaling millions of universes are going with him so that is the position of this material world it is coming out and again going bhutya bhutya praliyate in the bhagavad gita also it is said that these material universes are being created at a certain period and again become annihilated now this creation and annihilation is depending on the exhaling and inhaling of mahavish just imagine what is the uh, <clears throat> caliber of that mahavish but that mahavish no is said here just say kan sasita kalam athavalam jeevanti lom bilaja jagadannana tha vishnu mahan sahiya jas kala vishesh this mahavishnu is plenary portion of the plenary portion of krishna krishna is the original govinda vadi purusham tam aham jana so this mahavishnu again enters into each universe as garbhodak sai vishnu and from garbhodak sai vishnu there is kirodak sai vishnu that kirodak sai vishnu is entering in its in the heart of every living entity in this way the vishnu manifestation is all over the creation ah so the yogis concentration of mind on this vishnu form that is explained that vishnu who is all pervading who is ishara sarva bhutanam riddesh arjuna tishthati in the bhagavad gita i will find that maha vishnu that uh, kirodak sai vishnu is sitting in everyone's heart now yogi has to find out where he is sitting and concentrate his mind there that is the yoga process wow the yogi should know wrong the yogi should know that vishnu is not different from krishna yes. hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama ram ram 